Welcome again, my name is Dr. Piro and now we're going to be going to the details of CBD IBS posting. Like I told you I'm going to be your invisible guy through medical school. We're going to be going to the details of CBD IBS posting. Now CBD, Cell Body Defense, is a four weeks program. IBS, Introduction to Body System, is also a four weeks program. You're going to have one week of revision at the end of this four weeks, which is two months, and then you're going to be having your exams. Things are more, maybe things might be flexible in your set, nobody knows, but I assure you that in the past, those dark dates usually fix in stone. And even if something sinister happens, the exam usually does not shift in medical school. However, it might be flexible in your set. So let's leave that, you know, that space. Now, anatomy. Anatomy has three branches in CBD IBS, those three subdivisions: embryology, genetics, and histology. Now, you're going to be learning the origin of life in, bio, in embryology. You're going to be learning, you know, uh, tissues, cells, in histology, and in genetics. You're going to be learning Gregor Mendel and those stuff that you might be really familiar with. Now, don't forget, I told you, if you, if you want to get notebooks for anatomy, it's, it's okay to get three separate notebooks. And don't forget to put the list of topics, you know, in the first page of your notebook so you know what to expect of yourself and, you know, to be able to track your progress. When you read one topic out of that list, you can tick it. And then, on and on and on like that so you can track your progress during the posting anatomy is the most bulky of the three that does not mean you're going to spend all of your time reading only anatomy don't forget to spend equal time or not equal time but at least spend you know what don't give more than they deserve to each of them and don't underestimate any of the three especially don't underestimate biochemistry because that's what so fast most people like to read anatomy and physiology and then whatever time is left they give it to biochemistry but be equitable in your time distribution so that everybody has you know equal time and then your marks also look equitable Hope that <laughs> anyway now for anatomy practicals you may or may not have an instructor that will follow you to the lab class rep 200 level what you're going to do for your class and for yourself is you're going to go and ask someone in 300 level or 400 level someone that is charitable enough with their stuff Everybody has stuff in medical school, right? But go and look for the charitable people so that they can come and instruct you in the practicals. If you have eight weeks and you have different eight different seniors or four seniors or eight in you know two weeks and they are quite they are people that are generous enough like that. Maybe three hundred level people might you know be a little skeptical about it because of space and all those kind of thing. But four hundred level students will gladly ah they are very busy. Anyway, just find charitable people to come and instruct you for anatomy practicals. You understand? It will make the practicals worth it, so you don't you don't just come and waste your time and go. Tip for histology: when they give you that microscope, right, bring your cameras to the um, to the to the lab. Snap the histology slice, the tissue. Screen grab from your histology textbook and then compare the pancreas there and then the pancreas, the epithelial tissues. Compare them, put them together. Frame them and keep them in a drop box so that on the exam eve you will have something to have in your mind before going into the exam hall. So you don't just have to write liver in all, you know, all the stations in the exam that are going to have, you know, histology slide and just lose those five marks. You understand? So what I'm saying is snap them and then keep crop what is in your textbook, the soft copy of your textbook, and then compare them so you can see and see the similarities, if any, so that during the exam you can have something to reference in your mind and you don't just have to lose those marks when it comes to histology. Of course, you're going to be drawing and doing a few assignments in the lab, but that's okay. Um, now, for practicals again, there is a book, the Periscope book for physiology. It's important that you have it and you go through it. It's like the summarized, compressed question and answers that usually come out in physiology exams. So it's good to have it alongside your, your normal physiology man manual. I suggest you just staple the two of them together. And then whenever you're going to the lab, you can have both of them and you can be reading them when you go for physiology practicals. It, it helps. In biochemistry as well, get the manual and then read through. Um, the manual. Don't keep it until the last minute, until the last week before you start buying those books. Please get them early and then once a while go through them. Practical is 20 share marks. You understand? Now, then for okay, and then I've told you about the practicals like that. So, biochemistry practicals, physiology practicals, anatomy practicals. Let me tell you about the exam. Let me tell you about the exam so that we can come, you know, from there. Now, the first thing I want to tell you about the exam is that. The essay part of the exam, the written part is 50 marks. The practical is 20 marks. And then the multiple choice question is, you know, 
would balance it up to 30 marks so that you have 70 marks all together let me start with the easiest one practicals for anatomy practicals it's going to be steeple chase steeple chase means the whole class will be will be in the line or let's say 50 students will be in a file though there, there will be 50 questions in the example one each person will be facing one question and then a bell rings and then you move to question two the other guy moves to question one and then we move like that until the bells continue ringing and then we keep answering the question all the way until everybody until the person at number 50 comes to number 49 and then that's what we mean by steeple chase so you move along stations as we call them anatomy is going to be steeple chase but biochemistry is going to be what we call alternate to practical so there'll be like a few questions for you to answer them but they'll be based on what you learned in the practical lab in the practical lab of biochemistry those practical manuals those things inside them will be what you're going to see in the exam so it's not very far from from that now for multiple choice question what we call no man's land in college that is where the difference is made a lot a lot of the time because in the multiple choice question you can have 30 and you can have negative because there is what the concept of negative marking if you do not know or don't understand the concept of negative marking let me use physiology as an example there are 30 questions in physiology multiple choice um, exam now for your 30 questions ladies and gentlemen if you answer all 30 questions correctly you get 30 over 30 now if you fail one if you answer all 30 and then you miss one you don't have to you don't get 29 you get 28.5 because for missing one that's already minus one so that's 29 over 30 but for failing one for choosing the wrong answer you get a negative of half of the mark so if you fail one you lose half a mark and then instead of having 29 you have 28.5 do you understand so negative marking negative marks are a reality that you have to be aware of how i you know cross check myself in the exam is before i choose a question i make sure i can bet my phone on it if you can't bet your best shoe on the answer then maybe you should not guess you understand however however when you only know 15 out of 30 statistically speaking it is more advisable to guess everything and then hope that the right ones will cancel the wrong ones at the end of the day you get a positive but if you only know 15 and you go for the 15 you might miss one of them and instead of getting 15 over 30 you get end up getting 13.5 so if you only know half you guess all but by the time you know 25 out of 30 ladies and gentlemen it's good to be humble at that point and you know bar out honorably in that point in the exam so that is the concept of negative math for physiology and biochemistry usually it's 30 questions for the multiple choice question anatomy might have more and then they will you know compress the marks at the end of the day to be over 30 but be aware of the negative mark you understand and obviously answer what you know best in the multiple choice question in the exam for the essay for the theory it's important that you know the concept of outlines now outline what is this if i ask this question in the exam what is this describe this someone is going to say it's a pen and over 10 you're going to get 3 over 10 for saying this is a pen yes it's a pen but this is not just a pen this is a red color this is a red inked pen ballpoint pen made by social company that is used for you know marking exams writing important information um using journaling so it's, and then at the end of the day the person is going to draw the pen and label it you know cover um, um transparent tubing ink and all those kind of things and then now say when you're using the pen be careful so that the ink does not stain your shirt and that person is going to get eight over ten because the person has outlined the answer as this is a red colored ballpoint pen and this is also a pen so you know you get the concept of outlines an outline is to take the examiner through a journey you understand for biochemistry for biochemistry this acronym becomes very important important um, I learned it as desk price. Desk price. Desk price is D E S. Put an imaginary B there. D E S B P R I C E. Desk price will be definition slash introduction for D. E will be the equation in biochemistry. Sometimes there are equations. And then S will be the site. Where is that occurring? B will be the biological significance of that particular concept, which is the question. P will be the pathway for questions that have pathway. R will be um, regulations. I will be inhibitors. C will be clinical correlates and E will be energetics. 
for your metabolism questions most of them will have you have to calculate energetics at the end of the day so that is a guide you can have at the back of your mind when you are approaching biochemistry question you can adapt that for physiology and anatomy as well in addition to your outlines don't forget let it be a default in your mind that every question i'm going to attempt i'm going to draw something of course it's not everything that requires a diagram but just have it at the back of your mind that it's compulsory to always draw it's compulsory to have introductions it's compulsory to have you know diagrams and when you are drawing please for the love of you know, mercy let it be on the full page let it be on the full page draw to the left part of the page and then you can label towards the right so that the examiner comes give you your one mark and then marks and then goes ahead if there are five questions in the exam and you have five diagrams and you, and you draw five that's one times five is five someone that does not have any diagram will lose those five marks and it's not about beauty it's about the fact that it's big and it's present if they say draw a head follicle let it be one page if they say you should draw a cell let it be one full page i hope that is clear no so outlines diagram the last thing i'm going to tell you about the essay is speed the only way you can be fast enough in your exam is when you know what you want to write the way to know what you want to write you you have to at least predict the examiner to a you know substantial amount and the way to do that i already told you in the previous video is through past questions when you see how the department has been doing in the past five years you can predict how things are going to be in you know, in the sixth year i mean it's not foolproof but half bread is better than none in this particular situation then you can prepare those questions so that when it comes out of the exam you don't have to think it's as what we call spinal level so it's just a reflex what discuss a retropoise and then you start going introduction site um, duration and then you keep going on and on and on Okay, so now also um, for anatomy and for everything actually, except anatomy, for physiology and biochemistry, the con there's a concept of long answer questions. Long answer question means you should discuss that phenomenon extensively. In your biochemistry theory exam and physiology theory exam, it's going to likely be one hour for the essay. So if you have an LAQ, you can as well make a mental note that the LAQ, the long answer question, will be 20 minutes. It's going to take you 20 minutes of writing. The SAQ will take you 10 minutes each. When you add that, that's 15 minutes. And then the 10 extra minutes will just be for be there in case you have to, you know, allot time to a particular thing. Of course, in the exam, you start with the question you know best and then you end with the one you know last. So that when time finishes, you can justify your conscience and say, after all, there was no time. But you always start with one you know best for motivation's sake, for momentum's sake, and for the simple sake of shared time. And then in that period, your subconscious mind can work out the answer of the ones you might not know very well at that particular time. There are some other concepts, you know, um, about the exams that are in my book, Campus 101. If you don't have it, you can get a copy and then, you know, check out some of the ways we hack exams. When I mean hack exam, I don't mean negatively, I mean like things you can do to make your exam, you know, go smoother. Um, I think that is the concept of the exam. So from, from the exams, now you can begin to extrapolate your posting, how you're going to go to class, how you're going to manage your time and all that and all that. So, so lastly, let me tell you about the concept of, you know, let me just tell you about textbooks. The best textbook to have in CBD IBS, in physiology, is the textbook that you're going to read. For biochemistry anatomy, is the textbook you're going to read. There's no best textbook. So choose one and move ahead. Stop debating between Sadler and Kismo. Choose one and start reading. Stop debating between Guyton and Danone. Choose one and start reading. Just choose one. Forget about the rest, about the other ones. Focus on that one. Combine it with your timetable, which is where you get the list of your topics. And then you read what is on the timetable. So you can, you can move that way. It's easier that way. You understand? So if you like this video, don't forget to share with your classmates, share with your friends. And... Um, have a wonderful CBD IBS posting. There'll be there'll be other videos on other parts of your medical school as you move along. Uh, lastly, there's GNS and um, integrated paper. Um, the only thing I'm going to say about GNS is when it's time for the exam, please go for the exams so you don't have to carry it over and carry it over and carry it over. It's the only thing the university requires us to know. For the love of you, the mercy, please go for your exams when it's time for GNS exams. For integrated paper, when the time comes, we're going to, you know, have another discussion. I remain your invisible guide, Dr. Firo. Cheers.